in the nation's capital, an observer for the Yaga Africa and Not chairman mm -hmm. of the Pairing Advocacy and Advancement Center in Africa, Ezin Wagu, is calling on Nigerians to be constructive in their condemnations of the judiciary and the independent National Electoral Commission. Mr. Wagu, who is a board member of Yaga Africa, made this known at an interactive session where he's advocating a broader approach to the appointment of the chairman as well as national commissioners and resident electoral commissions, uh, called resident electoral commissioners of INEC. TVC News, Jokia Desa reports. Most of the 2023 general election, there are currently more than 700 litigations before various courts of jurisdictions. While some have been decided, others are with the verdict of the court. But the outcome of the judgments have thrown spanners in the wheel of some, while it is a different stroke for others. Watch through all the conversations. is one of the election observers in the last general election. He has followed keenly the litigations arising from the polls. This interview session got the Chairman Partners for Electoral Reform and a board member, Yega Africa, provides an insight into the many controversies that have greeted some of the court verdicts in the aftermath of the 2023 general election and says the bulk of the litigations are pre-election matters and have nothing to do with INEX conduct of the polls. He also strongly advocates for attitudinal change by politicians and other critical players in the electoral process. The 2023 election had more positives than uh, challenges. And my quick sense always is that we have more highlighted those positives. We have dwelt more essentially on the challenges that we have played up what went well. Ezenwa Nwagu cautions politicians against blackmailing the judiciary and making unsubstantiated claims against the third arm of government. If we continue to eat at their credibility and eat at the capacity of the public to trust them, then we will be endangering this democracy. He, however, wants the responsibility of the appointment of officials into INEC taken from the president and beyond the National Judicial Council as canvassed by the Justice Mohammed Uwe's committee. There are also challenges with the NJC in terms of whether it can play that role without forcing new powers on it and making it now become a place where politicians will go and also bribe for their own people to be appointed. But if you have a broad-based thing, Consensus will be difficult. Consensus for evil will be difficult. Ezenwa Nwago calls for adequate funding of the National Orientation Agency for civic and voter education as he makes a case for independent candidacy and diaspora voting in future electoral reforms. Joker Edsa, TVC News, Abuja.